Parliament has agreed on a hybrid approach to its sittings. MPs can either participate in person in the chamber uh, or they can participate uh, virtually. The issue for MPs right now is, is hybrid parliament enough? Does hybrid parliament uh, fully um, replicate the real parliament, the real purpose of, of parliament as institution? So a lot of people really think this is a really important thing to have, that it's it's much uh, more um, convenient and advantageous for uh, MPs. It's more accessible. But there's another side, and I think it's a very valid perspective, saying that parliament is about being in the chamber uh, and being in the really the, um, the let's, let's call it the bear pit. <laughs> Of uh, where the government has to uh, make its case for its legislation, the government has to be there to take to take questions and be scrutinized, to be accountable, and it's a lot easier to do that in the in-person atmosphere of the House of Commons. If it's remote, it's more distance, and particularly for the in the for the opposition for the Conservatives, you can't really build the same momentum uh, virtually that you can in person. You, you can't heckle in the same way, and heckling, for better or worse, is part of Parliament. Uh, you can't really build that, say, that sense of an atmosphere, really particularly of holding the government to account virtually in the way that you can do in person. The big unknown question is whether we're always going to have a hybrid Parliament. You know, is the future going to be permanently hybrid? And, and that's going to be a contentious one, because as I said, uh, there's clear advantages to allowing MPs to participate remotely. Uh, it's nice to give people a choice, obviously. But uh, I think for the opposition in particular, they do have a strong argument that the way Parliament has worked for 150 years or more uh, has been to be in person. If there's going to be a permanently hybrid Parliament, it's going to be contentious. Uh, so I, I would not I would not place bets that we're going to have a hybrid Parliament uh, forever. I think that if the pandemic is declared over or something like that, I think we may well move to an in-person parliament. But there'll be people that say we should stay, stick with a hybrid parliament forever. It's, it's going to be contentious either way.